Hey guys, hello and welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and today I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on the Acolyte event. Fortunately for us, the Acolytes have returned, which means we get a chance at farming some very interesting and expensive mods. The event itself is not too complicated and getting the mods will be a bit of a grind, but it's definitely worth it. So let's head on over to navigation, as I said before, the event is rather straightforward. You will see an acolyte symbol at the top of the page, you click it and this will reveal all the available acolytes. You can have multiple at a time, but for right now we just have Anx with her health at 80%. Of course, when this one reaches zero, Anx will disappear. And location unknown. You're gonna have to wait a little bit until players find the location of Angst. This will be a mission around the star chart and when this will be revealed you simply click on it and the mission will start. Now what I recommend you guys doing is picking up something with a lot of speed. For example a speed vault, quickly run through the mission, kill Angst or better yet force her back into hiding. Head on over to Extraction so you can redo the mission again. Now you're not gonna kill the Acolyte, you're simply gonna force it back into hiding. So effects such as Desecrate will simply not work. You wanna do as many as you can, as fast as you can, because you will get one unidentified item per Acolyte. And upon Extraction you will see exactly what are you getting. Speaking of which, let's check out to see exactly what are the drop tables for this one, so we know exactly what are we farming. And of course we're gonna be starting off with Angst since she's the only one currently available. We got body count on 51%, get as many as you can, repeater clip on 22 and spring loaded chamber once again on 22. Pressurized magazine is the golden mod, the rare mod and it has a 4% chance to drop. Now for example I got 20 plus kills on angst and still no pressurized magazine so just because you're farming it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get what you want, keep that one in mind. Next let's have a quick look at Malice, we got several acolytes of course and Malice can drop narrow barrel which is accuracy for shotguns, this is the golden mod on 4%, targeting subsystems, once again accuracy but this one is for pistol, guided ordnance and focused defense. The first two I presented here, Malice together with uh, Angst, aren't really worth farming from my point of view. Next we're gonna take a look at Mania. Mania can drop Nano Applicator, now this is definitely worth farming, it is worth a good chunk of plat and so is Weeping Wound, so definitely recommend you start farming Mania as soon as he will be available. Embedded Catalyzer and Catalyzer Link, not as much, but of course each and every one is worth having at least once. Next, let's take a look at Misery. Now, this one is a bit atypical because this one can drop the whole shebang, everything, including Argon Scope, Maiming Strike, Nano Applicator, and so on and so forth. But of course, the drop chances, as you can see, are fairly low. This guy, however, can pretty much drop any everything, so I definitely recommend you farm him when he pops up. Next, we're gonna take a look at Torment, and this guy is important because he can drop the dreaded Argon Scope. Highly recommend you farm this one, when you see him pop up, go for it 100%. And you will see when the important acolytes spawn, such as this one, their health will go a lot uh, faster down than angst, for example. Laser Sight, again, crit chance uh, for shotguns, one laming, Blood Rush and Hydraulic Crosshairs. Now, Blood Rush and Hydraulic Crosshairs currently still are farmer farmable from Lua Spy Mission, so don't worry about these two too much. Get that Argon Scope, if at all possible. And then the last one is gonna be Violence. This one is also very important to farm because he drops Maiming Strike. Now, I'm gonna be honest here, I'm not entirely sure how Maiming Strike will transition to melee 3.0, but my guess is it's still gonna be good. Sharpened bullets, bladed rounds and shrapnel shot and these are the acolytes. Now let's have a quick run to see exactly how this one works. And apparently we have found the location of the acolyte, this one is on Piscina Saturn and if I remember correctly this is a survival mission which is not ideal, again the type of the mission can be well pretty much everything from a survival to a defense to a capture, obviously ideally you want easy fast missions which you can farm for example capture but it may not always work like that. So we're gonna head into this one, like I said before, this is a survival against infested folk. Yes, there we go. I'm just gonna simply turn on my world on fire and once again the key here is to go as fast as you can. World on fire against these low level targets should be more than enough so I don't have to bother with them. And what we're gonna do is simply run through the mission so we can find the blasted acolyte and extract as soon as possible. But it's gonna be once again 5 minutes at the very least because this is a survival. And you cannot kill the acolyte, get the loot 
and then um, ex uh, abort the mission because you will be losing your reward. So keep that one in mind. Now, once again, you want to go through the entire mission. Sometimes I found them in closets and stuff, which is definitely not ideal. But you will get a warning on the screen. And normally, if somebody else kills it and you're not around, people usually mark the location of the drop. So you don't need to worry too much about it. And I highly recommend you guys doing the exact same thing. If you kill it and nobody else is around, just mark the location. It's the nice thing to do so everybody can get the loot. Now, you guys might be low level, just starting out in Warframe, and you might feel a little bit, well, embarrassed to start doing this, but I recommend you set it to public and let the other guys carry you, alright? It's no shame in that, uh, definitely farm the event while it's still available. Okay, Tenno, there we go, we found her, we found, where are you? Are you around here? She's gonna become marked. There we go. Virtue go uh, gives a strength of a thousand ten. Oh, <laughs> you wish. There we go. She spawned on me actually, so I'm just gonna kill her. Easy peasy. Nothing to it. Once again, as you can see, you don't actually kill her. She simply goes into hiding. And she, uh, since she spawned on me, I'm gonna mark the location of the module. But once again, you aim at this little Another beam thing. You press your G key and you wait for everybody to get their loot. It's a nice thing to do. Again, guys, don't be that guy that doesn't mark. And I'm just gonna cut out here because this is gonna take 5 minutes of a survival mission against low level enemies. And as you can see the level is 26, 27, something like that. So nothing you should concern yourself with. It's pretty easy. whoop de doop de doo the mission is over. Now let's see what did we get. Maybe I finally get that blasted golden mod. I don't want to farm her anymore because again what she drops is not really all that worth it. It's not worth a lot. And the reward this time will... Oh, oh my god, actually easy mod gameplay every day. I know, I know, I know. Yes, awesome. Finally, I got my stupid pressurized magazine. And this will conclude the guide. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. If you have any feedback for me, please let me know in the comment section down below. As always, my name has been Lazar. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.